Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, just for us listening to the story with regards to Dominic Cummings, and I just want to say, oh, oh, disappointing, oh, let down, I feel, um, how oh, despicable his behavior is, and the fact that he's going to say that he's not sorry, he's not apologetic, he won't be apologizing for what he did and what he's looking in his own, um, in his own, in, in as he already said, in his, his own scenario, he didn't do anything wrong. That's the same uh, person, the same advisor that told us that we should stay in stay at home not going anywhere now i've listened to this practically all day today um i've listened to the press conference with dominic cummings and there is no excuse why dominic drove with his wife and himself and his child or children drove from london 200 odd miles um, up to durham or what have you no, the thing is, there's nothing you say, Dominic Cummings, um, that can actually justify your actions. And the dignified thing to do at this time is to resign from your role, is to step down from your position. The everybody's talking about, um, you know, people's mistrust or people don't want to mistrust the government. Look. We don't trust the government from day one. And this is a good example. I'm hoping people see Boris Johnson for what he is. Boris is a liar. Boris is just for Boris. Boris cares about nobody else. All right? Boris betrayed Theresa May to her face. All right? Boris, you cannot trust somebody like that. You can't trust somebody like that. I won't go into that to, to distract from what I actually came on here to say. But Dominic Cummings, you need to go. Boris, Mr. Prime Minister, what you are doing, you are standing up for wrong. You need to stand up for right. You told us to stay in, stay home. I have ill family members, my wife, mother is all by herself and we obeyed just like millions of citizens in this country obeyed the guidelines of the government and we stayed in, right? I could do a short drive to London as well, just like you are saying Mr. Cummings and I chose not to, I chose to obey obey the guidelines that were laid down and set by the government of the united kingdom you gave you are the one who advised you are part of that team and you decide that what goes for you what goes for 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 for, for the government you're show you are, what you are showing is what goes for certain people if you're in certain class if you're in certain um crowd if you have certain uh, influence, I can do as I want to do and get away with it. And I, I don't need to answer to anybody. And the, probably the only person I need to answer to, if I do need to answer to him, because I didn't even have to tell him what I was doing, which I didn't. Because, quote-unquote, he had too much on his head and he had just been diagnosed with the COVID-19. So I took myself and went away. I set the rules because I set the rules. I don't need to follow them, Mr. Cummings. That is what you're saying to us. You're disregarding us, the lecturer. Right? I'm on here to, 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 today, tonight, to say how oh, disappointed I am in Dominic Cummings. How oh, disappointed I am. you need to go somebody once said make up a lie practice the lie believe the lie then tell the lies 
continue telling it until somebody, until everybody believes it. That's what you went away and did. You are 72 hours short late. Why didn't you say all of this 72 hours ago when all the reporters were standing at your, your door? No reporter threatened you. Nobody stood there and threatened you, Mr. Cummings. Nobody stood there and threatened you. Reporters came asking you questions and you totally ignored them. You totally ignored them. You could have responded and back what you said, but no. You went and you sat and you wrote. You wrote this big speech, this lie. And you come and you tell us. You come and it makes no sense. What you're saying, it makes no sense. Who wrote that with you? Who wrote that with you? Did, 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 did Mr. Rob wrote that with you? Did Mr. Johnson wrote that with you? Who wrote that with you? This, 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 this is sad. This is a sad day. I can't believe it. Save the NHS. Stay home, save lives. But you decided to drive 200 and odd miles knowing that you are carrying the virus. Or you could be carrying the virus, your wife could be carrying the virus. And you went all the way. All the way up. The fact that... People are not asking this question. The fact that you could go in a car and drive, there was nothing wrong with you. The fact that you sat in a car and drove, nothing was wrong with you. If my stepmother had picked up the COVID or we so suspected that she had the COVID, my, my wife and myself could not leave down there. We'd have to call 999. Somebody could have looked after your child, Mr. Cummings. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. You're not, you're not fit for this role. You're not fit for this job. You are a dishonest person. You need to go.